so I'm going up the stairs, instantly go blind, instantly lost my vision, don't know what happened. The Lord was like, you can't handle what you're about to see, so I'm gonna make you blind. Good morning, guys. I'm in yesterday's clothes still. Don't judge me. I haven't left my house, only to go to the post office, so yeah, eventually I'm gonna change, but today is the first day of Jude and I's new routine. I'm going to film it more thoroughly tomorrow. We're just trying to do like a test run to see how it goes today. Right now we're starting with um, breakfast and we're gonna do our devotional. After this, I'm going to get dressed properly because I need some more support, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to do our physical activity. Then when we get back, Jude's going to do some schoolwork. So I'll bring you guys along for that. I'm looking forward to the physical activity. I really need to get outside and run and he's looking forward to using his scooter. We'll see how this goes, but first, Spending the morning with Jesus. I'm gonna share this prayer with you guys. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful you loved us enough to send Jesus to die on the cross for us. You want everyone to know about your love. Help us share your love with our friends who don't know you yet. In Jesus' name, amen. How do you like it? Good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh my, hi there. I haven't seen you in a while. Huh? I haven't seen you in a while. Feeling good. It's beautiful out here today. Get it, Mo. It's a hard one. Day one, dude. Day one. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. We're doing our best. Okay, so we just got back from our run slash scoop this morning. It's pretty challenging, of course. It's day one. We're still keeping pretty positive, right, Jude? Yeah. So being patient with ourselves and encouraging each other to continue. I was telling him I'm looking forward to how we do tomorrow and then maybe even a week's time from now. So I'll make sure I keep you guys updated with that. And according to our schedule, it's time for schoolwork. Jude's doing multiplication and I found this worksheet off of education.com and I just searched math for fourth grade. So handle it, baby. Okay, so Jude is currently enjoying his free play and Another activity that we did was write in this journal. I've showed you guys this journal in the past. This one's called Between Mom and Me, something that Jude and I have kept together and it's pretty much like a scrapbook. I got this journal and it's called We Are So Thankful and it's a shared gratitude journal. So you can do this with your kids and take turns. He had to fill out a few pages and then also do some decorating. Do you have a story of when you saw me being thankful? or how do you try to express your appreciation? So I'll make sure to link both of these journals in the description box below. During this time, I am in my office currently printing out a ton of worksheets that I found off of education.com. I just subscribed, this is not sponsored. I think it's like seven or $8 a month and you have access to tons of worksheets, but a package just came and this is not for me. This box actually belongs to the crusty from across the way. So I'm gonna go deliver it and let's see how she reacts. As expected, rude AF. She didn't even open the door. I'm not surprised. I knocked on the door. I know her ass is home. Knocking on the door. She opens the window and then she's like, What do you want? Uh, I have a package that was delivered to my house by mistake and I'm just bringing it over here. Let me see the name on the box. Okay. Put it on the floor. Like, <clears throat> Funny how God puts us in these situations to like test us to do the right thing. I did the right thing by bringing it over to her house even though I wanted to open it and see what kind of creepy things that she's ordering from Target but I didn't. I took it over there and she was still rude to me. Like she's just a very unhappy, ugly woman. Ugly in her heart, not on her face. That too, but that's not what I was talking about. So along with the worksheets I was able to print out, um, Jude has tons of game options on here, learning game options on here. So if your kids prefer to be on the computer and not writing the whole time, this is a good alternative to mix things up. Strengths and weaknesses, and how to stay calm when we're faced with a challenge. Started. Oh, this is strange. I seem to have to make these trees into honey trees by covering them in honey. This way, we can attract hungry Pokemon. Stir it some more. Stir it, stir it, stir it. This move, though. 
Can't do yoga with you, girl. Bending into your surf pose. Open our arms wide. And we are surfing. Surf. Oh, snap. <laughs> and working together gives us so much more power. Helps us achieve so much more. Now that I've had a chance to sit down, I'm going to tell you guys a quick story, okay? Every time someone talks about intuition, I tell this story because my intuition makes me have diarrhea. No joke, I wish I was lying, I don't know why. Every time I get the mud flood, it's over. Something bad is happening and the world just needs to catch up. I'm old as hell right now, but how old was I? When I was 16, I had this really disgusting boyfriend. I have more stories about that fool too. About that one time that I had caught him with two different girls in the same day. Oh my guys that was a good one that, that's another time okay hold on let's go back to this first time that i caught him cheating okay first time because i was with him for like a million years what happened was i feel like i'm gonna have diarrhea just talking about this i was walking home from school and i had bridget with me okay bridget's one of my good friends i've been friends with her since first grade and i can't get rid of her it's fine she just watched my videos don't worry about it we were walking to his house he told me to come to his house after school so we're walking over to his house and i had a candy for him because i I'm sweet and we come up to the gate the gate is locked his sister is on the other side of the gate and she pops her head up hey um what's up oh my gosh it's hot out here you want something to drink come on in I'll get you a soda we're like all right yeah let's go inside let's go inside like where the frick is this guy usually his car is parked in the back and his car wasn't there so I go inside and I'm like oh where is he at and she's like I don't know. That's, I have no, I have no clue. Maybe we should wait for him. So then I'm like, I'm going to go put this candy on his pillow because I'm a nice girlfriend. So I'm going up the stairs, instantly go blind, instantly lost my vision. Don't know what happened. The Lord was like, you can't handle what you're about to see. So I'm going to make you blind. I literally couldn't see anything. I just knew that they were in bed together. I'm not sure if they were naked because I was blind. I just was like, <gasps> Dropped the candy on the floor, took off running down the stairs. Oh my God, there's so many up there. There's a girl up there. Then his sister's like, get that bitch out of here. I'm like, <laughs> I marched back up there. Freaking kick the door open. They're still sitting there like, like I wasn't just freaking there. I'm like, <laughs> it was not my house. It was his mama's house. And I was running like behind her. So we're like running down the stairs. And I'm like running and yelling at the back of her head like, Anyways, I chased her all the way out the door. Then he comes out after, and then he meets me in the downstairs restroom. And I'm just sobbing because I'm so embarrassed. My friend's there. This happened in front of his sister. I'm just crying unconsolably, uncontrollably. I forget what lies I believed in that moment. But anyhow, his mom ended up getting home from work and she drove me home to my house and I lied to my mom, sorry mom, I lied to my mom that my friend died. Yeah, my mom definitely watches this. Sorry I lied to you mom, that's literally what happened and that's why I was crying. I can't be telling these stories this late because I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack. I need to calm down. Anyways, just a little juicy nugget at the end of the videos. These are inappropriate to be telling when my son's awake, okay guys? Give me a break. I'm still editing my videos and I'm texting Carly at the same time. Just kind of letting her know where I am at emotionally, just like mentally, I guess, because I feel weird. I've been feeling really weird and I don't want to say that it's depression, but I've been feeling that way a lot. It's honestly put me into this funk that I'm really trying to get out of and that's why I'm staying as busy as I am with everything that I'm doing. That's part of the problem. I'm like an octopus who doesn't want to be an octopus. Earlier today, I snapped at Jude for saying that he was bored. I know he's bored and I'm trying my best to work around his schedule. And then I edit these videos when he's sleeping, but I feel like I'm dying. <laughs> it sounds so dramatic. I honestly think that I'm going to segue into story times versus doing daily vlogs so that I can rest. I have an obsessive personality where I overthink, I overworry, and I personalize a lot of things. So I keep talking about this, guys, because I'm not going anywhere. So 
sorry if I digress. I take it personally when my videos don't do well because I feel like I suck. And I know I'm not the only content creator that feels that way. I'm just saying it out loud because this is like this is literally a video diary, a video blog of my life, of my feelings, of my experience during this quarantine life. And I hope that you guys um, can be flexible and patient with me during this time. I don't want to complain to you guys either, but that's just where I'm at. Only reason why I keep pressing forward with a smile on my face is because of you guys. When I read those comments of how much you guys look forward to seeing these vlogs every day, I'm like, I can do it, I can do it. How many people can say thousands of strangers watch their videos from all over the world? All over the world, okay? I've never had this many friends in my life. I love you guys.